I'm Ms. Lanehart, your art teacher. Today we're going to be doing some more drawing from observation. Remember, that's when we look at something and we draw what we see. Last time we drew leaves. Here's some examples that you sent in. These drawings show us interesting shapes and details that you saw on your leaves. Today we're going to be using a small toy to draw from observation. I looked around the art center and I found a few interesting toys. I think that I'm going to draw this little monkey because it has some simple shapes on it like circles and half circles and rectangles but it also has some interesting details. Watch me draw the monkey and it will help you remember the steps of drawing from observation. Let's get set up for drawing. First thing you need is your sketchbook or piece of paper, and I'm going to find my next available page. So turning from my leaf to my next blank page. I need a pencil with an eraser, and I need the toy I'm going to draw. As I'm looking at my monkey, a phrase comes to my mind that I'm learning in the Klingit language. This phrase is dasa yatin, which means, what do you see? It reminds me of that first step in the drawing cycle. Observe. Look closely. Okay, the first step of our drawing cycle is to observe. Look closely. I notice that this monkey has a face and he's got an interesting sort of head shape, or body shape that's pretty round, two arms that bend, two legs that are a little bit bent, and a funny little top knot of fur on top of his head. Okay, and my next thing is to plan where to start. Well, I think I'll start at the top, and I think I will draw this round shape that the face is on. I'm going to do it near the top of my paper so the whole rest of the toy will fit in on this space. So first I'm going to practice it in the air. If I start right here, it goes up and down and across right here. So I feel that in the air first, around and across, around and across, and then I draw it. Here we go, around and across. Now I'm going to add these two funny little shapes off to the side. If I plan, it's about right here. If I practice, feel that curve and now I draw. And I'm going to go ahead and erase this line right here because it covered up the edge of that shape a little bit. Now this one, plan, it's about right here. Practice, that feels like a bigger curve to me. And now I draw. It sticks out a little more than the other one. And now I'm going to move down and draw the body shape. It looks a lot like a circle, but it, let's practice it in the air. It's kind of lumpy. Okay, here we go. It starts right here. I'm going to curve around. And then we come down here. And over. Curve that way. And then this line right here kind of goes over and in a little bit. All right, now I'm going to add this shape right here. It starts up here right under the ear. So that's my plan, and let's feel what it feels like. It comes out and down and around and back up. We go out and down and around and back up. But this one on this side, it starts right under the ear, too. Let's feel it in the air. Let's practice it. Oh, there's a little bump right there. And around that curve is a little bigger of a curve. And that's kind of a funny shape at the end. And back up. Okay, here we go. There's a little bump. Curves down. Here's that kind of funny shape. And then back up. All right. 
try this one now. It starts right here. I'll practice it in the air first. Curves right around like that, around the end, back up. So right about here, follow that line down. This kind of has a funny little wobble to it. Okay, and then this one, it's kind of a, attached to this, do you see that? So I'm just gonna make this short little line here, and then I'm gonna continue it right here. Practice it first, it has a little bit of a curve to it, it goes around the end, and then back up. Go a little curve, goes around the end, and back up. A little bit of wobble to it. Okay, now I'm ready to start adding some details. Um, let's go up here to the face. I see that the nose is on this kind of light colored sort of a circle. I'm going to feel that in the air first. Okay, it's right about here, so here we go. I think I'm going to erase this line right here because the nose covers up the shape behind it overlaps that. And do you see some other fun things on that? That looks like a V, doesn't it? It's about right here. Plan, practice, and draw. I'm gonna draw the mouth next. Practice it in the air. <clears throat> and draw. And then these two funny little shapes, but maybe I'll try drawing this tan shape that they're on. It starts right here on the nose. It comes up and around and around and then these two black shapes right down next to the nose it looks like and there's sort of a line around them and then this funny little top knot Erase these right here because they're covered up. There's the top knot, the fur kind of overlaps them. I'm going to do some texture on there. Look at my little lines making texture. Does that feel furry to you when I make all those little lines? All right, let's look for more details. What did I miss? Can you see things I missed? What about this little thread that's on the ear? Kind of goes like that. And I see some seams. I'm going to draw in some of the seams that I see, some of these lines that I see on this toy. That was fun. I saw things I've never seen before on this toy. I'm going to label it monkey. I'm going to add some more words. I'm going to label things that I noticed on this toy. Maybe I will label ear, hair, I can make an arrow, leg, arm, And you can even write a question or a comment of something you like to do with this toy. Now it's your turn to find a toy, set it next to your sketchbook where you can see it easily, and follow the drawing cycle. Make a drawing of your toy. I tried drawing a Lego guy. First I observed and drew the bigger shapes that I noticed, and then I added details. Artist Gunish Jish for drawing with me today. Good job. This week you can keep practicing your drawing from observation in your sketchbook. You could go outside and find more interesting things outside that you could bring in to draw, or you could draw more of the toys around your house. Have fun and happy drawing.